My question is, I need help. Um, we had Windows 7, and now we have Windows 10. It was upgraded. I do not understand how the, photo, how the photos work. I don't know what has happened to my photos. They used to be one place, and now I, so I need help. That's it. <laughs> Absolutely. In fact, right here, I think there are folks from our store uh, here, and they should reach out to you and make sure uh, we book an appointment and really help you sort of understand Windows 10 and the migration from all of Windows 7 to Windows 10. And also the new capabilities. Uh, we hope you will uh, get to use a lot of the new capabilities of Windows 10 and the cloud services that go behind it, for example, photos. Uh, and uh, hopefully you'll get to enjoy that and without the pain of having to learn a lot of new things. I have an original Windows phone and a uh, Microsoft band. And when I originally got an email about Microsoft Picks, I thought, oh, that looks pretty cool. I'll see if I can uh, look into it. And then it says, available for Android and iOS. Not available for Windows Phone. And then you uh, comment about Outlook. So I go to Windows Store, and I type in Outlook, and there's no Outlook app that I can see. Um, the basic construct that we think about architecturally and technically is that it's not about just one device, it's about all the devices for the person. In other words, whether it's the app or the operating system, we want to build it for the person across their devices. Uh, for example, your comment about Outlook. Outlook, interestingly enough, in the context of the Windows Phone, is the mail client. You don't need to go look for another client because it's built into the phone. Whereas in, in, in our own operating systems, the camera will have the smart. You don't need a separate uh, application. You will not need another separate mail program. When we control things silicon up, that's how we will integrate those experiences. But when we are on other people's platform, because that's the basic construct that we have, which is we will not only build for you devices that are unique and differentiated uh, with our software capability on top of it, uh, whether it's Surface or Surface Studio or HoloLens or the phone, um, and also make our software applications available on Android and iOS and other platforms. And so that's what I think uh, is needed in order to, for Microsoft to help you as a user get the most out of our innovation. And I'm a longtime Microsoft fan. I run my business using your software. I own a Microsoft Windows phone, and I use it 18 hours a day. <laughs> I've heard that you're stepping away from mobile. Can you calm me down <laughs> and tell me where your future uh, what your vision is for mobile. Yeah. So our overall approach, again, uh, to the previous question is we think about mobility broadly. In other words, we think about the mobility of the human being across all of the devices, not just the mobility of a single device. That said, we're not stepping away or back from our focus on our mobile devices. What we are going to do is focus that effort on places where we have differentiation. If you take Windows Phone, uh, where we are differentiated in Windows Phone is its manageability, its security, its continuum capability. Uh, that is, the ability to have a phone that, in fact, can even act like a PC. So we're going to double down on those points of differentiation. In fact, the XP, HP X3, uh, which came out recently, is perhaps a great example of a differentiated device built using the Windows phone platform. Uh, and that sort of points to the direction. We will keep looking at different forms, different functions uh, that we can bring to mobile devices, while also supporting our software across a variety of devices. Uh, so that's the approach you'll see us take. We're not stepping away uh, from supporting our Windows phone users. Uh, but at the same time, we are recognizing that there are uh, other platforms in mobile uh, that have higher share, and we want to make sure that our software is available on them. We've already established a strategic goal of every person and every organization loves using a Microsoft product or service. This is a tough goal to accomplish when we occasionally create frustration in our users. Let's look at Bill Belichick, for example. I can't think of a better ambassador for Microsoft. He's a user with demanding expectations, and to many, many people, he personifies excellence. If we want to develop a market, 
One way not to do it is to get the user to destroy a very important product on TV out of sheer frustration. And we can issue a press release and stand behind the product, and it's a good product, I'm using it right now. But the damage has been done to the Microsoft brand. Let's learn from the frustration of users like Bill Belichick. Let's parse the complaint and let's figure out what he's really trying to say. I, I, I will say before turning to Satya, as someone who's lived here for 20 years, that is the most passionate statement I have ever heard in Greater Seattle on behalf of the New England Patriots. <laughs> as far as your comments around uh, quality and making sure, for example, in the case of um, uh, the use of uh, Surface in NFL, one of the big variables is in fact the Wi-Fi connectivity on the sidelines. Um, and so, for example, thinking about quality, not just of the device, but the end-to-end -end system, which has many, many variables, is a very, very good point. And that, I think, is capability that we need to keep building. We need to take ownership, take responsibility for it. Uh, that's well said. But, uh, quality is something. Uh, we definitely are at a completely different frontier uh, in terms of how the frequency with which we are upgrading and updating and adding capability. Uh, but that doesn't mean that the quality can regress. Uh, we are learning, improving, and getting much better at it. And so keep pushing us. My inbox is always available to any one of you. Uh, if you have any issues with Microsoft products, and we will, you'll have our commitment to keep getting better.